we are here because of Jamaica night. We're still Jamaicans in the house? Oh, they've gone home. Are there any Jamaicans in the house? I am a Jamaican, right? Are you a Jamaican? Yes, I'm a Jamaican and we are proud wherever you come from. Be proud of where you are. And also a greater, 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 I can't even find the word to describe who he is, what he has meant, not only to our country, our culture, our nation, our race, the entire universe, is the Honorable Marcus Mazaya Garvey. Anybody know who that was? Who that is? Anyone? Nobody? Who is Honorable Marcus Mazaya Garvey? Jamaica's national hero. He's our first national hero at that, amongst many other things. And tonight we have some very honored guests tonight that we are so pleased to have them in our presence. We want to thank them for being here tonight, accepting our invitation. For those who do not know, let me remind you, this year celebrates the 100th year that Honorable Marcus Mazaya Garvey started the UNIA and the ACL. Right? And so this year, being the wondrous year of that celebration, you know, with Jamaica Night, we decided, wow, we would love to honor our national hero. Right? Because he stands firm, he was a leader, he was an entrepreneur, he was so many things. And tonight we have in the house with us, his seed, his heir. Who is that? Anybody have any idea? Wow, Marcus Garvey, but he died. How can he be here? His son, okay, wonderful. So let's all stand, please, if you could stand with me, and we're going to welcome on stage the sibling, the, the, the seed, of, the heir of Honorable Marcus Mazaya Garvey. Could we stand everywhere, all over the audience tonight? And let us show our honor and respect to the Honorable Marcus Mazaya Garvey, his son, Marcus Garvey Jr. Wow, here he is. Here he is, the man himself. And also with him tonight is his wonderful wife, his backbone, his strength, his supporter, his lover, his everything, his face whenever he is not able to make events is Mrs. Jean Garvey. Please, can you give her a wonderful round of applause? Wow, thank you so very much again for being here. And right now we're going to have the reading of the Rita by Mr. Abbasi. So if you could, you may go ahead and have a seat and listen to some of his life's work. And then we will be doing the presentation of the award by the president of Free Spirit Outreach. Oh, I'm the vice president if you haven't figured it out by now. And it is our pleasure. Thank you very much again. We shall start with the biography for the Honorable Marcus Garvey Jr., the Prince. Marcus Garvey Jr., elder of two sons of Marcus and Amy Jacquez Garvey, was born in St. Andrew, Jamaica. He received his early education at Kellogg High School in Kingston, Jamaica. His subsequent academic and professional training were at University of London, England, the University of West Indies, Kingston, Jamaica, and City College of the City University of New York. He holds a Bachelor of Arts, English Economics, and a Bachelor of Law degree in the University of London, BS, Mathematics, Physics, MS, Physics, degree of University, degrees of the University of West Indies, and an MA in Physics, 1976, and MS in Electrical Engineering, 1978, degrees of City College, CUNY. Mr. Garvey Jr. taught mathematics and physics in high schools in Jamaica, at the University of the West Indies in Kingston, and at the City and Hunter College in CUNY. From 1978, he worked as an electrical engineer in digital and analog circuit design, the analyst, the analyst in design of optical fiber transmission systems, and the analyst of navigational guidance systems. Since retirement in 1993, he served as an adjunct professor in the Department of Mathematics in LaGuardia Community College, New York, and at the College of Aeronautics in Flushing, New York. He practices engineering on a part-time basis and consults in his specialties. He is a registered professional engineer in the states of Massachusetts and New Jersey, and is a member of the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers, the Optical Society of America, and the American Institute of Physics. He has been published in the prestigious scientific journal, Nature. All right, Mr. Garvey is an African nationalist, Pan-African, who articulates the philosophy and teachings of his father, Marcus Garvey Sr., founder of the UNIA Universal Negro Improvement Association and the ACL African Communities League. He is a student of the history of African people in the homeland of Africa and in the diaspora. 
He contributed a chapter to the comprehensive review of the life and works of his father, Marcus Garvey, and the Visions of Africa, edited by the historian John Henry Clark, published by Random House in 1974. He also contributed to essays in honor of Kwame Nkrumah, a collective of papers commemorating the Silver Jubilee Year of the Organization of African Unity, edited by Kwesi Kronfona, and published by Alpha World Publishing Company in London, 1988. Marcus Garvey Jr. was a member of the UNIA and ACL in Jamaica and is a member of the UNIA and ACL in the U.S. where he has lived since 1973. He is past president of all of AL Crawford Division of the organization in Brooklyn, New York. He was elected president general and administration of the national body of the UNIA and ACL at the 39th International Convention held in Washington, D.C. in August 1992. He was the seventh president general of the UNIA and ACL, succeeding to the office only held by his father, the right excellent Marcus Mosiah Garvey, national hero of Jamaica from the founding of the organization in 1914 until his death in 1940. Marcus Garvey Jr. has lectured extensively on Garveyism and the UNIA and ACL and articulates the message of African nationalism and propounded by Edward Blyden, Bishop Henry Turner, and his late father. Let's give a round of applause for Marcus Garvey Jr. Yeah. We have to honor our heroes while they're still here. We have to honor our heroes. And I disturb the team, but I have to come here and give respect for Marcus Garvey Jr. Yes, because Marcus Garvey Jr. used to teach me at Kingston Technical High School. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, it, it, it's like years I don't see him. Year. I was in Gambia three weeks ago with his brother, Julius Garvey, and I must pay my respect to this man because this man is why I'm so terrible. Yes, sir. <laughs> he was in Kinson Technical and I was a part, a member of his organization, and he was the one that introduced me to his mother, Amy Gates Garvey, at 12 Mona Road. And we have been, through the inspiration of Marcus Garvey Jr., I have been going through this awareness and black consciousness from that time at Kingston Technical until now. So we want to pay respect to Marcus Garvey Jr. who brought me to this point in my life. So give thanks. Wow, I'm filled with goosebumps. I don't know about you, but that is an awesome legacy. Right, I agree. They deserve a standing ovation at this point. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh. Mr. Garvey, Marcus Garvey Jr. Tonight, as the Vice President of Free Spirit Outreach, on the behalf of our organization, all of our members, our donors, our sponsors, our friends, everyone that came here tonight to support, we would love to present you with this plaque and award, and it reads as follows. Free Spirit Outreach honors Honorable Marcus M. Garvey in recognition of the UNIA and ACL's 100th year celebration from 1914 to 2014, and excellence in leadership, promoting unity, education, entrepreneurship in Jamaica and universally. And there's so much more, there wouldn't be enough words to place on this plaque to express to all that he was, but would you please accept this on the behalf of the president, myself, and the entire body membership of Free Spirit Outreach. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Madame. Thank you for being the strength. Thank you for uniting with this wonderful man and continuing the legacy that our national hero, Honorable Marcus Messiah Gavin, had started.